You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Adorama TV iPad app reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we have an app that comes from Canon Camera. It's called Canon Lenses Plus and it allows you to look through all of the library of current Canon lenses and figure out which one works best for you. So let's take a closer look at Canon Lenses Plus. Canon Lenses Plus is an application that allows you to look at all the different Canon lenses and figure out what works best for you and do some future planning. And so it's a really simple application. On the left, we have a list of all the different Canon lenses and you can look at those and sort them with this little button right here. You can say I want ultra wide zooms or standard zooms or telephotos. And so it's all, uh, all these different lenses uh, are categorized in here. So you can say, I just want to see the image stabilized lenses only or however you want to slice and dice those. And then you can see all the IS lenses. One of the features I really like about this, I'm going to go in here and say, I'm looking for, let's say a standard telephoto lens. And perhaps I am a beginning photographer and I have a budget of maybe $300. So what I can do is I can go down here and sort these by estimated street price, ESP. So I'll select that, say okay. And now it's sorted by price. So then I can look in here and say, oh, here's a 50 millimeter 1.82. And that is 125 bucks. And this one right here is right about in my price range. It's $500 estimated street price. So you can look and see what the max and minimum aperture setting is and how many blades in the diaphragm. That's going to show you how much, how uh, the bokeh is affected by that. You can see what filter sizes to buy. And then there are some tips here. It says, uh, for example, the uh, EF lenses work with all Canon cameras made since 1987. And then you can see that there's different reviews. You can look at this on the Canon website. And so if I click on this lens, I can zip in here and it's going to bring up all the information from Canon. It's going to have sample images, an MTF chart, and all the different things that might be uh, important to you, like rebates and uh, other things. So you can do that with any lens in the catalog. So I'm going to go here and say all lenses, OK. And these are sorted by estimated street price. And so you can see at the very bottom down here, we have the big guy, the 800 millimeter f5.6 with an estimated street price of $13,000. Pretty awesome, this lens. I wish I had it. In fact, if you thought, I wish I had this lens up there, you can click this plus and you can add, the, add this to your wish list. It's already in my wish list, and so it says remove from wish list. So I'm going to go to a different lens. Let's say the 600 millimeter. I can click plus and say add to wish list. Well, if I own a lens, for example, I'll say this 70 to 200 millimeter uh, lens, I can say moved to owned list. And then the cool thing with that is you can go over here. And instead of just selecting this by category, down here you can say, what's on my wish list? What are the lenses I'm saving to buy? And you can see what those are. Or you can look and say, what lenses do I own? And so maybe you need to keep an inventory. Or if you have maybe some friends that are curious about the lenses that you own, you can go in here and show them what you own and then give them the specifications and help them out by allowing them to borrow some things. And so that way you can sort of uh, help out your fellow photographer. So there's all sorts of interesting things in uh, this application that will help you look at lenses, figure out which ones are best for you, and then make some plans for the future and budget so you can make sure you get your lens library built to where you need it to be. Well, Canon Lenses Plus is a great app for diving in and figuring out which lens works best. My only gripe is that this app is $2. And I think if Canon is going to be showing lenses for you to purchase, it should be a free app. So I hope Canon changes that in the future. But if you're an educator or somebody that really wants to keep track of their lenses, I think it's well worth the $2 for this application. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. If you have an iPad app that you'd like me to review, please send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.